Hey, just a reminder, we're having our first company meeting in a bit. Don't be late. Company meeting. Nice euphemism. I'll be right there. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I feel like there's a lot we're missing. There is, but it's enough to go on for now. What about criminals? Don't we kind of need more than three if we want to call this thing an empire? There's four of us. Oh, are you planning on shooting anyone? After that party, I think I'll stick to metaphorical blood on my hands. Yeah, that's less useful when people try to kill us. Nina's right. We need more people. We'll look more legit if we have a home base. You saying we're not legit already? Oh, I love you, but I'm allergic. <clears throat> yeah, point taken. All right, let's brainstorm. What would our place need? I gotta be able to host some parties and have more than a fucking galley kitchen to work with. I want to be able to set up a proper garage to work in. I don't think Sergio's gonna be letting me near the forge anytime soon. That's good. What you got? I don't know, a ball pit? I'm joking. Kind of. I'm kind of joking. It needs to be defensible. We pissed off a lot of people, and let's not kid ourselves. They're gonna try to kill us. You're fun. Hey, man. Just being real. For me? We need it to be cheap. We don't have a lot of cash, so... We'll probably be looking at a fixer-upper. So, we need an open space for the interior, a decent plot of land to build a garage, it's gotta hold up in a firefight, and it's gotta be dirt cheap. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a bitch fine. I got it! Holy shit, we are so good at this. There's an old church, near Fort Cullen. The sanctuary is huge. I can turn the rectory into a garage. It's condemned, so it's cheap. And it's got a fucking graveyard, so we can stash the bodies. You fucking rock. What are we waiting for? Let's check this place out. Let's go. I'll drive. Where is this church? Up on 3rd. Oh, that place. Guys, look at these pictures. The architectural details look amazing. We see. Nina, this place is in ruins. I said it was a fixer-upper. There's a fine line between fixer-upper and money pit. Relax. The listing says it's being restored by a developer. John Bland. John Bland? The real estate king of Santo Elisa? Is he the guy on all those billboards? Why does a guy that into self-promotion stick with a name like Bland? Bland is no Roger Gilligan, but he does restore the place, and we can still get it for cheap. It might work out. Assuming the restorations preserve the original facade. I'm not gonna worry about preservation when I put in my state-of-the-art kitchen, are you? We can discuss that later. That's a lot of heavy equipment for a renovation. It's more like a demolition crew. He's gonna restore this place in the condos. Not if we do something about it. Just gonna move. Who wants to demo a demo crew? wanted to drive one of these. Got him. No one's touching that church. for that demolition crew. Attention! This property is protected by Marshall Defense Industries. Burn the bulldozer and come out with your hands up! What the fuck are these Marshall rent cops doing here? Shit. Land must contract with them for security. Oh, fun. Hang tight. I'll take care of them. You 
are not off Trespassers will be shot. That's the last of them. Damn. Sounds like the drivetrain overheated. Guess it wasn't designed with you in mind. Marshall's down, but they'll be back as long as Bland owns the deed to the property. Then let's get into cell. After this? Not like that. It'll shake him down and make him hand it over. The idols used to do stuff like that all the time. Good call. Kev, you're with me. Where's Bland even at? Uh, let's call the number on those billboards and find out. Bland here. One sec. Mr. Mayor. Been an honor talking to you. Sounds like he's at City Hall. All right, who's this? Mr. Bland, I'm calling to take that old mission church off your hands. Huh? Wait, are you the asshole who just wrecked my demolition site? Listen, fuck nut, you set foot on one of my properties again, I'll make sure you can't buy so much as a tool shed in this town. Well, that was uncalled for. Eh, let's go take his ass for a little ride. Him in that car? Mm, same dickish face as the billboards. Hi there, me again. You gonna make this easy and give me the deed to the church? You go fuck yourself. Bad answer, John. I hope you don't get car sick. Let's show this shitbag a little Santo Eliso drift. I told you to play hardball in traffic. Look out! This is how you do business. That's right, man. We're local. Just give us the deed. No! <laughs> Guess the ride's not over yet. John, 
You're not leaving here unless we get what we want. Think you can handle a little airtime? You're gonna be sick! Pleasure doing business with you. This car is also ours now, too, so get the fuck out. That worked great. We got the deed and a briefcase. Yeah, plus we blew up some shit, did some sick drifts, and uh, stole the church. All in a day's work. Ready to head home? Home? I like the sound of that. Ooh, I'm gonna post about it. Yada, yada, da, yada, da. Uh, hashtag take me to church, hashtag new digs on this, hashtag list. And post it. Oh, look, I already got a like. Seriously? How many followers do you have there? DJ Kev has his fans. This is DJ Retro, and you're listening to KFADR 101.1 OutRun. Running out the clock with a celebration of Synthwave. Marshall backed up. You get the deed? Yep, we got the dude's whole briefcase. Let's get inside. You got the keys? Keys? No. Just the briefcase. No problem. I'm sure I can get in through a window or something and open it up. Why don't we just break down a door? Uh, not my door. Whoa. Calm down, Dad. Do you know how much a door costs? We own this place. We have to pay for that shit. Nina was right. This place is awesome. Hey, check it out. Cool graveyard. Yeah. Hang on, I'm getting a call. Oh, shit. You better hear this. Hi, Kevy. We saw your post. Congrats on the new dicks. We adore your takedown of that gentrifying dick. Who is that? The Collective. The idols want to throw you a housewarming party. Fuck. Their parties get violent. No thanks. I wasn't asking. Duh. <laughs> See you soon, Kevin. Uh. I'll get the door. Hang tight. We've got company coming. Have you seen what's in this briefcase? Not now, Eli. Get inside. And maybe revisit your stance on guns. You can't oh, hold the land. It belongs huh. to everyone. Oh, uh. Here we go. I could use 
There's some backup in the graveyard. I'm coming, Kev. Kev doesn't want you! Get over it! Those troop efforts. Warming. Guess all that's left to do is check out the new digs. Yeah, okay. Dead bodies notwithstanding, this place is pretty great. Right? There's a lot of potential here. A lot of work to do, but still... We're actually gonna do this, aren't we? You got damn right we are. So you've got a cool logo. I'll take it off the whiteboard. We need a name. The Saints. We call ourselves the Saints. Saints are a real organization. I feel like I should have a better understanding of, you know, all the basic skills involved in day-to-day -day operations. Uh, which means? I was hoping you could teach me to shoot. Oh, yeah, sure. Meet me at the old quarry. I set us up a kick-ass practice range. You set this range up yourself? Yep. I didn't have any clay pigeons, so I had to make do with what I could find. Nice. What weapons are you going to use? Oh, I'm more of a book learner. I've done some research already. I just wanted to watch you, ask questions, and take notes. That's not really how you learn to shoot. Hey, everybody learns differently. Now, the first thing I saw in my research was that stance is very important. Sure. You got to have a stance. So what's a good stance? I mean, this? I can't describe it. I just do it. Watch. Okay, stance. Well, uh, we'll work on that. Next, my research said keep your eyes open when you shoot? Sure. I like to pretend there's a little white dot or crosshairs on whatever I'm shooting at, and then just aim for it, like this. Damn! Yeah, I get it. Oh, and my research said to squeeze the trigger instead of pulling it? 
fuck's the difference? There's just a feel to it. Look. a certain squeeze quality. Nice. Hey, what's up with those trucks? Looks like Marshall. Uh... We're probably near one of their Black Ops sites. Trespassers on Marshall land will be shot! Grab a gun. Get out of your game this now! This is what we call a target-rich environment. Hey! Hey! I got one! Good job, man. See what I mean about the dot thing? It's against regulations to allow civilians on Marshall land! Guess you ain't playing. for a beginner. Get in the car! You drop. I'll do the covering fire from the, uh, roof thing. Wait, that's not... Oh, boy. Oh, my God. There's so many of them. You won't get away with our training secret. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Yeah, you're fair game now! I'm gonna puke! Fuck! You should invest in painkillers. What am I doing? Get back here and face the music! How do you aim like this? Don't let them escape! That was maybe a, a bit more hands-on learning than I was hoping for. Hey, nah, you did great out there. I guess next time I'm in a tight spot like that idols party, Slow him down, but I think I'll leave the car roof shit to you for now. This place has so much potential. Can't wait to decorate. I got a list of stuff that'll really complete the vibe, you know? We don't exactly have the budget for home decor right now. No problem. There's a nice cheap way. Come with me to Fort Cullen and I'll show you. There's a bunch of cool collectibles around town that would look amazing in the church. All we have to do is find a thing we want, snap a picture, and boom. It'll just show up there. Really? How does that work? It works. Yeah, but how? It just works. Don't overthink it. Do you know someone with, like, a 3D printer or something? I do, actually. Remember Teddy? Your ex? The guy with the ponytail? Other ex, Teddy. The woman with the mohawk.
Right. So here's how it works. I think the Western Golden Can is the rock of the church. Just take a picture of it. All right. Let's head back and see what we got. So, Teddy, she was cool. She still is. I was thinking maybe next time we do a karaoke night, I'll invite her. Unless she's back with Melissa, of course. Ah, Melissa. She has a good heart. Nice. That looks badass. Keep a lookout for the rest of this shit on that list, huh? This place has so much potential. Oh. 